We're celebrating our 100th year of doing business here in Cocoa, Florida. My father-in-law, Richard E. Stone, was looking for permanent employment. He decided to become an auto mechanic and he went to auto mechanic school, but the Caucasian community did not allow him to work on their cars. So as a result, he was looking for something that he can make a living with and take care of his family. And he did his research and discovered that there were no funeral homes between Jacksonville and Miami that served the African-American community. And after that, he went to New York and he studied mortuary science and became a licensed funeral director. He chose uh, Coco because he thought it was the center of Bavard County. He lived in the Mer Melbourne area. All of his family lived in Melbourne. And he felt if he moved to Coco, he would be able to serve both the north and the south ends of the county. Back um, in the day that if an African-American went to a Caucasian funeral home, most times uh, they would be turned down and if they would pick the case up or the remains up, they would bring it to us. Well, the African-American community has a long tradition of how, the, how we handle our dead. And most of the people that Richard E. buried were his friends and neighbors. And uh, so it was quite a feat for him, not only to handle them as a business person, but also because he knew them personally. And it, he wanted to make sure that everything was absolutely perfect. Coco has supported us uh, as a business. If my husband were alive right now, he wouldn't believe the number of other, or the diversity that we serve. I don't think he would, he would, he could believe it. So we get a lot of uh, cremations and other things, and, and it's not as much uh, what's African American or what's Caucasian, but it is more of the all-consuming. I've lived in Coco 40-some years, and I actually think Coco is a wonderful place to live and to work. Stone Funeral Home has always been a family business. Uh, we've encouraged most of our children to study mortuary science. The late uh, Reginald Stone was a licensed funeral director. We have our younger son, Condor E. Stone, who is the licensed funeral director at the Stone Funeral Home facility in Melbourne. I have a young um, granddaughter who's in college and uh, she's trying to make up her mind, but I think she'll come to this side of the road. Stone Funeral Home has been a part of the Bavard County community for 100 years, and we're looking forward to being here another 100 years.